Hey guys, so today I am removing another drain. Um, this one is in my master bathroom tub. It's like a jetted jacuzzi style tub, I guess. Um, this drain has been in place for about 20 years now. And um, I did use this tub to wash off paint brushes and paint rolls and plaster containers and things like that because we weren't really using this tub jacuzzi for personal use so i kind of just used it to wash brushes and things off um so with that the paint and plaster has settled around the drain pretty much cementing it in place so i did try to use two pliers two types of pliers um to create a jam to turn it like so and in any normal situation this would work um but like I said, I did use this tub to wash off paint rolls, paint brushes, plaster, all kinds of stuff because we weren't using it for personal use. So I just used it to wash things off when I was finished with a project. Okay, so I decided to take my hammer, the same hammer from the first video that you saw, if you did see that first video, and put the larger plier, if it's called a plier, if I'm not sure what you guys call it, but it's a larger plier, put it in there and hit it um, so that it goes counterclockwise. It was barely moving and I could tell like it, it had almost like a, like a pullback. It was barely moving. You can't see it on video, but I saw that it was moving, but it was like pulling back almost like an elastic. So I figured it had the clear silicone underneath the ring as well. So I took a knife and started scraping away some of the paint and plaster that built up around the drain over the last six years. Okay. Once I got most of that out, I went back in with the hammer and the large plier and hitting it so that it goes in the counterclockwise opposite direction to unscrew the drain from the tub. Okay, and I did use my strength. I feel as though I was, I was stronger when I was pregnant, like I had some extra mom strength or something. But, um, you know, I could see it had resistance, like I could see something pulling it back. So definitely had that clear silicone underneath the drain holding it in place. So I went back in with my knife and try to slip it underneath the, um, I guess the lip or the the part of the drain there where that's between the tub and the drain and then I went in with my blow dryer this is a 2200 watt blow dryer and just hit it with heat this is just to help soften up that silicone a bit I did this about two times okay and then I went back in with my hammer doing the same thing hitting it so that it turns counterclockwise just to kind of get it out of that stuck position that it's in you know it's been in here for about 20 years so you know it will take some work to get it out of the um the jacuzzi the, the jetted tub whatever you want to call this bathtub okay so hitting it again and it it was still it was still pretty hard so i'm not gonna give up i'm getting this drain out today okay so i went back in with the knife and try to get it under the uh, um lip or edge of the drain just trying to get as much of the old paint out and then when i went on one side of the drain i could feel the uh, silicone so that was a good sign that i'm getting close to it okay and it's getting there. It's getting there. Um, this whole thing took me about 25 minutes to do. This can be two minutes, three minutes, four minutes, five minutes, depending on how long your drain has been in place. Um, some of the people who have watched my old video have had drains that have been in place for 30 to 40 years that they got, you know, like an old house and it came with like an old tub, which with its drain stuck there in place so this could be super fast for you or it could take 20 minutes or it could take 30 minutes just don't give up it will come out okay mm. so again i'm going in with the knife and this is where i felt mm. this silicone under there and i tried to like really mm. move it around so then i decided to take two two pliers the big one and the little one and 
put them in a position where it jams so I can turn it. So I can hold one side and hold the other side. And as you guys could see, it started to turn. So I had to take a little breath <laughs> of relief because at this point I was already doing this for about 20 minutes, okay? And took out the little one and I was able to turn it and remove it. Um, well, I turned it most away and then removed it the rest of the way with my hand. And as you guys could see, I did not use any special type of tool. I'm pretty sure if you have a garage, you have some pliers like this. If you don't have anything like this, you could definitely find them at the dollar store. They sell pliers there. Pliers. I don't know. Is that plural? I don't know. Um, but they sell tools there that you can probably get something that looks similar to this or find something similar in shape. So long as you can create some sort of a jam and you can turn counterclockwise, you're pretty much golden, okay? You don't have to waste $20, 30 um, I remember that tool being about $25 when I first did the video. With inflation and everything, I'm pretty sure that thing is about $30, $35 now. Who knows? I don't know. But um, yeah, got the drain out. Took about 25 minutes. Um, lots of breeding and frustration but i got it out and as you guys could see lots of calcium buildup and i was right there was the silicone underneath the drain holding it in place okay so you know the plumber whoever put this in great job it did not leak and great job it took forever to come out well 25 minutes is not forever but it just it just took a little long to come out all right so i'm just going to remove all the silicone that is there i am not replacing the drain in this video because i am refinishing this tub um if you look by my hand you see all the discoloration that that ivory color is the original color of the tub and then the whitish weird gray color is what has peeled off this was kind of already like this when we got the house so you know me cleaning paint brushes and paint rolls and things like that in this tub has just added like little different colors in here like there's blue paint purple paint gray paint white paint all of that so um i had to take about three sessions to clean this tub to get it ready for that but here's a close-up of the drain pretty gross pretty disgusting this just has to go in the trash can't be reused okay and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did give this video a thumbs up um comment down below let me know if it helped you if it did um i'm i'm glad all right i'll see you guys soon in another video don't forget to subscribe um I'm pretty sure you're not going to share this video, but don't forget to subscribe. I do post um, a lot of things that I feel like are helpful to people's lives. So yeah, see you in my next video. Bye. Ah.